It's got to float. It's got to float. Good. We got a lot to clean up, which I think all teams do on their first practice, especially with the young guys. Um, but I like where the veterans are at, and we have a lot of returning starters that have played a lot of football for us. They seem to understand the tempo and the expectation, so that that's huge for us. We finally have a class where uh, we have some seniors that have been with us for four years now. So through their freshman year, those guys get it; they understand it. The hard part about that in camp is I don't have to play those guys as much and so you don't always see them on the field and some of the cleanliness that would be there I don't have to play those guys and so we're, we're, we're needing to get some of those backups ready but that's part of camp we're excited about where we're at and where we're heading and I think the players cared when they first got here and they wanted to be good but it was more of a an understanding that we were teaching in a culture that we were trying to to create and you know that's much more in place now and, and it should only get better and better and we're not where we need to be yet we still have a couple big steps to take forward. You know, last year we won seven games. My expectation is not seven, it's nine, 10, 11 wins, go to the playoffs, make some noise, and make some runs at some big sky championships. And we're not there yet. We haven't been there yet. And I think this is the team that can do that, assuming we continue to take the right steps forward. Andrew said that's kind of the theme is big sky champs. You broke the huddle with that chant. Uh, is that something you guys are really, really focused on? Well, that's our goal, but that's a process. You don't just say it. A lot of teams say it, that that's their goal. I think there's 13 teams in the big sky that are going to say that's their goal. But it's all about who handles the process the best and who goes out to practice each day and works like that's their goal. And that's what we got to get to. Like I say, today was a little sloppy with some of the seconds and thirds. If we can get them to come along, we got a chance at reaching that goal. As much depth as we've had on defense, D-line, linebacker, uh, in the secondary, it's the most depth we've had. So we finally have the ability to overcome some injuries if they, when they occur, because they always occur. Um, 
but we got to continue to develop the depth throughout the team. So Big Sky Champs, is that a realistic goal if everything comes together? Sure, I think so. Now, you know, things got to come together. We got to continue to progress. We got to respect the process and what the heck we're doing each day at practice. But uh, if it wasn't a realistic goal, then I, I sure wouldn't love coaching. I love coaching these guys right now. Uh, things went well first day, um, you know. Always a, a little um, nervous to start, but you know I was happy to get back out here. Uh, I was super anxious for camp to start, uh, but overall I think it I think it went well. Got a new quarterback. You break it in. How's that going? Uh, it's going well. I'm actually uh, really confident in Stephen Cantwell. Um, you know he's our guy, and uh, our whole offense, our whole team is 100% behind him, and he's ready to take the reins. And I'm 100% confident, not worried about it at, at all. Ten wins. Yeah. Oh, it? absolutely. Um, you know anything sort of double digit wins um, is not acceptable anymore. Uh, you know, like you said, ever since Coach Hill took over, the trajectory's just been up and up and up. And, uh, you know, I really expect uh, that trying to continue this year. Is there a different feel? I mean, I, you haven't been here for too long, but is there a different fear, feel from uh, last year to this year? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think our team, first day of fall camp this year compared to last year's, um, just miles ahead, miles better. Um, you know, pretty much at virtually any pos every position. Um, so yeah, even though I've been here for two years, I can I can for sure see the improvement, and I think that's just due to Coach Hill and his recruiting, and just the guys kind of taking over the team and uh, you know really working hard. I feel like it was pretty good. Um, I think when we started off a little slow for the defense when we were doing the pursuit drill, we had a couple mistakes, but I feel like once we got into team and kind of got the flow going, I feel like we did pretty well in team, and uh, I feel like it, I mean what I noticed, especially as the D line, I feel like we played really well. So. What do you feel like the strength of the defense? Kind of strength of the defense? Uh, man, it's kind of hard to, to narrow it down. We've got a lot of guys that are have been here for a long time playing that are really established. Um, I think the, the big thing that we have going for us on defense is, uh, is probably our DBs. Uh, I'd like to say our, our D-line, but uh, I mean, Taron Johnson is one of the best DBs in the country, and so he makes our job easier by being able to, to lock down guys. And, but then, like I said, we got some great linebackers as well, and and I, I think our D line looks pretty good this year.